Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And it's Pete J. And we're back here in Phoenix, Arizona, in town for one more game. So we'll hit uh, with the Steakhouse and the Cigar Bar after this, and then we'll get back out of town. I forget where we're going next. We are <clears throat> happy to be home, but we're, we're going, going to, to Hawaii, game. pal. We're going Oh, <laughs> nice. Pack your bags. Can't wait to get out of town. For two very important games. So this better be, <laughs> we better be celebrating with those uh, steaks and those cigars tonight. Great. Well, yeah, so hope so. We're going to be playing these, uh, these Philadelphia Freedom. Garuda is going to be playing Total War Medieval 2. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so I guess I'll tell you real quick about the last game. The Loafers get two. The bottom of the ninth, yeah. two outs, and they win the game three to two. Today we're going to be playing against the the uh, Philadelphia Freedom. It's the one time we play this team uh, extra conference game. So um, there's only since we played them last year, there's only been two changes. Sienna Donkey, right fielder, uh, 32 year old, 6.3 million dollars a year, B ranked, tough out. You know, mostly for her ar- crazy arm and her speed. She got a good contact hitter as well. Uh, this she she played for the Freedom her first two seasons, then took a little stint out of the West Coast with the Outlaws. Came back, got re-signed, and uh, this year she's only hitting 185. It looks like, yeah, she's struggling a bit. Uh, but then you go down to Emilio Adoya. Emilio uh, has been on the buzzards his whole career. Comes here this year, and now he's at 257. That's all right. You know, uh, one home run, three RBIs. But look at the playoffs. He's got the playoff stats. So, uh, yeah, Emilio, the second baseman, the field outfielder, 35 years old, known mostly for his speed, good arm, fair hitter, 4.8 million a year. So th- those are the changes to this team. <clears throat> we told you about the last game, the changes to this team, and now we just got to tell you about the 15 other games. The scores have come in before we talk to you about this game. Things started off, Pete, uh, with the herbivores down in Fort Lauderdale, the water bullets. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. The uh, water bullets jumped out to an early lead. They widened it, and they're going to wind up taking it home 8-1. to one. The heaters were in St. Louis at the Sirloins, all Midwest, all Sirloin 6-3. The Moose taking on the Arctics. Moose uh, jump out to an early lead. The uh, Arctics try to make it a game, but it's too little too late. They w- The Moose win 12-5. The Buzzards were in Hawaii at the Burners, and the Burners took them 9-4. Frontrunners taking on the Freebooters, and it's a close game. Back and forth, frontrunners are going to win 4-3. Phile Jones, home run. Warblers at the Nemesis, Nemesis 3-1. Wild Pigs take it on these Freedom, and the Freedom are going to win it 3-2 in the end. Rodriguez, two-run home run. A Herbosaurus at the Gold Coats, and it was close. Oh, real close. The Gold Coats took them 9-8. Sawtees take it on the Moonstars. Moonstars jump out to an early lead. The Sawtees make it a game, but the Moonstars are going to hold on and win 6-5. Grapplers at the Platypi. It's Platypi 4-3. Water Bullets take it on the Heaters. Heaters jump out and hold on to win 6-0. Moon Stars and the Houston Jacks. All Moon Stars to start. Jacks fight back. Moon Stars win 7 4. Nemesis take it on the Wide Loads. Nemesis out to an early lead, but the Wide Loads come back, but the Nemesis are going to hold on and win 6 to 5. Jackie Slam home run. Outlaws and Blowfish. Outlaws 8 zip. Sandcats take it on the Wild Pigs, and it's a back and forth battle. Wild Pigs 5 4 in the end. And when you look at the conference, it's the Pine. Uh, Pioneer Conference, the Pathfinder Division. They've got the uh, Blowfish sitting atop with a record of 15 and 6. They have a three and a half game lead over both the Crocodons and these Freedom, who are sitting in second place with records of 11 and 9. The uh, San Diego Platypi are out in front uh, in the Uncharted Division. They are 14 and 7. They got a one game lead ahead of the Oakland Outlaws, who are 13 and 8. I don't know how the Outlaws beat the Blowfish like 8 nothing after we. We squeaked out of there. Anyway. Down in the Journey Division, the Grapplers with a record of 14 and 7 have a four and a half game lead over the second place Arctics, who have a record of nine wins and 11 losses. In our conference, the the Sport Conference, Seafarer Division, it is the Houston Jacks out in front, uh, 14 and 7 as well. They've got a one and a half game lead against the California Gold Coats, who are 12 and 8. In our very own trade division, the Nemesis sit atop the trade with a record of 16 and 5. They have a plus 32 run differential. The B-Wolves in second place with a record of 14 and 6 are a game and a half out of first place with a plus 38 run differential. The Sirloins in third place playing 500 ball at 10 and 10. The Water Bullets at 8 and 13 are occupying the fourth slot and Herbosaurs at 7 and 14. A full nine games out of first place are in last place and fifth place in the trade division. 
There's always next year. The yep. Curiosity Division. Hey, we're from Chicago. We know that. Yep. Curiosity Division. San Jose Saw Teeth are out in front at a 13 and 8 record. They got a one game lead against the San Diego Moon Stars, who are 12 and 9. Yep. That's going to bring you to today. Regular season game number 21 of 24. We're almost there, folks. Almost at the halfway mark. It's going to be the 11 and 9 Freedom. Good winning record against our 14 and 6 Beagles. So another solid uh, team with two hot or game with two hot teams. They're known mostly for the bullpen, but they got great rotation and speed as well. So it's going to be hard to overcome them. They're putting their top pitcher on the mound. She's been there since day one, since they opened the building. Brooklyn Precious, the left-hander, she's known for crazy velocity. She's got good junk and fair accuracy. She's got a one and two record on the season. She'd like to even out of two apiece. She got a 3.9 ERA and a 1.45 whip. She's excited to play the B-Wolves with uh, the way they've dropped three straight. Yeah, and they really need this win. So did the Freedom, though, so they're not going to be a pushover. Backing up, Brooklyn Precious will be uh, Rodriguez at third base. She's locked in right now. She's got uh, very good power. Um, uh, poor contact, but uh, better than average speed on the base pass. She's hitting 233 with two home runs. Uh, Marsh catching, who's not 100% physical, physically fit, uh, and he's got less than average speed, but he's a good fielding catcher with a pretty strong arm. He's in 259 with two home runs. And then uh, Kelby, I think it's Kelby King out in right field. She's got good power, but she struggles to make contact, less than average contact on uh, at home plate, and a, a, a little bit better than average speed on the base pass. She's in 221 with three home runs. We're going to put our ace on the mound, Hurley Bender, the right-hander. Uh, no, mostly for his crazy junk, as the name says. He's also very accurate, and he's got good velocity. Uh, he's got a 1-0 winning record on the season. He'd like to make that a little bigger. He's got a 4.75 ERA, he'd like to whittle down, and a 1.22 whip. Yep, and backing him up is the locked-in Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman who's been playing lights out so far this season. He's got better than average power. He's got good ability to connect at home plate. He's got less than average speed on ba- on, on the base pass. He's hitting 452 though, with five home runs. Hammer long, Ballo, the right fielder, with good power, better than average ability to connect, but less than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 347 with six home runs. And then Fiona Clark, the catcher, who's not 100% physically fit. She's got uh, less than average speed, but she's a good fielding catcher with a very strong arm. And she's hitting 316 with one home run. <clears throat> yeah, Sturdy Women also have 20 RBIs, second best in the league, right behind Ken Gutterson. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> we're going to get the lineup for the assistant coach. It's going to look like this. Um, hmm. They got Hanley Dexters at, at center field. Take it over, batting first. Take it over Magic Moore, who is uh, tense. But Hanley is also tense. So both both Hanley and Magic are tense. Do we start like Eduardo Keller? Or Oak Foster? I don't know. I think we. I, I'd like. Uh, we need this game. <laughs> we really okay. kind of need this game. Okay. So, I will leave him in there. Um, uh, so he bats first, right behind him, first base, then locked in, sturdy Woodman. He could turn things around. Uh, batting third and catching today is going to be Steve Monstour. Batting cleanup in right field, Hammerlong Ballo, and at third base, the locked in Bertha Banks will be at. Uh, will bat fifth. Batting sixth, Freddie Knox at second base. Now, it's got batting seventh. It's got Buster Biggs in left field, tense. Well, we could put Eduardo Keller in. He's not tense, and that's his position. Okay. I'd be all right Let's with that. that. All right. Eduardo Keller is going to get to start today. The rookie at home under the under the bright lights of uh, of the Red Rock Park. Uh, and then right behind him, Ham Slam is going to be playing shortstop because Hanley's out in uh, center field. And Hurley Bender is going to bat ninth and pitch. He throws the four-finger, the two-finger, the cup finger, the curveball, and the slider. I had to take a breath. So many pitches. <laughs> yes, Beautiful night game. All right, I love night nice games here. Yeah, me too. Me too. Let's have one. Yeah. Let's have let's have a night game. Let's do that. <laughs> you know what? I'm with you. Let's get this thing. Let's do, we're gonna go now. The Freedoms uh, lineup's gonna look like this. Duran's gonna lead off playing left field. Butes in second base. King in right field. Rodriguez at third base. McClary at first base. Marsh catching. Lopez at shortstop. Fruitwell in center field. And Precious pitching. So as the B Wolves take the field, Becky Duran, Aaliyah Butts. Buttes and Kelby King are going to get ready to face off against Hurley Bender and his 4.75 ERA. Uh-huh. Bring us home a winner. 
I love the sun going down behind the uh, yeah. lifts out there. Becky Duran hitting 250, no home runs, five RBIs. Duran neutral and fit, playing left field for the freedom. The first pitch, and we're underway. That's in there for a called strike, strike one. One strike, no balls. Oh, that's missed by Steve Monstour, the amazing catcher. One ball, one strike, <laughs> whose arm, I think, literally fell off at the end of the last game. That's in there for a called second strike. One ball, two strikes to Becky Duran, the leadoff hitter for the Freedom. That's way outside, ball two. That'll even the count up. Two balls, two strikes. Early Bender delivers. High ball three. Full count now to Becky Duran. Three balls, two strikes. No outs, nobody on. Top of the first. There's a roller. That's going to go into center field for a clean single. And Becky Duran leads off with a single. So one on with no outs. And in steps Aliyah Buttes. Number 46. Number 46, she's neutral and well power. She's got power versus right-handed pitching. She's hitting 175 with two home runs, eight RBIs, swing and a miss, strike one. A lot of speed at first base. That one's a lifted into, oh, and that's gonna drop over the head of somebody. And they're gonna just <laughs> let the ball roll past you. Okay. So a double. There you go. Um, it was actually a single, but there was a uh, the ball was thrown in and the pitch uh, never mind. You saw it. Oh boy. <laughs> Two on with no outs, and then steps Kelby King. She's an RBI dud. Takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. Kelby King, the right fielder, is hitting 221 with three home runs, 10 RBIs. That's in there for a called second strike. And very quickly, Kelby King falls behind in the count. Well, no balls, two strikes. Swing and miss, strike three. Down goes Kelby King. So one out now with runners at second and third. And in steps Sky Rodriguez, the third baseman. She's locked in and fit. She's hitting 233 with two home runs, 10 RBIs. Is she now? That one's fouled off. Straight back, strike one. Sky Rodriguez has power versus left-handed pitching. That's a oh. shot. That's going to get into center field. And that's going to score two runs. Of course. And now it's two to nothing. With one out. Freedom in the bottom of, in the top of the first with only one out. Mer Mercurio McCleary. A lot of speed at first base. No out. Uh, one out. That's in there for called strike. Strike one. Bender throwing his 15th pitch. Throw to first. And the runner's back. No balls, one strike, one out. That one's fouled straight back. McClary now in the hole, no balls, two strikes. Bender delivers. That's driven, that's gonna get into. Can't get the ball past anybody. Into right field for a clean single. So now there's runners at first and second with one out and in comes Hayden Marsh, the catcher. He's neutral and well, hitting 259, two home runs, nine RBIs. Still only one out in the top of the first. He's going to throw 20 pitches. That's over the outside corner for a called strike. Strike one. No balls, one strike, one out. Hayden Marsh catching. There's a roller, and Bender will pick it up, make the throw to first for the second out. But it'll move the runners to, from first and second to second and third. Stanley Lopez, the shortstop, neutral and fit in 288 with a home run, eight RBIs. Two outs now. First pitch to Lopez is inside ball one. One ball, no strikes. Stanley Lopez, the freedom shortstop, takes that pitch for a called strike. One ball, one strike, two outs, runners at second and third. Now it's outside, ball two. Two and one now. Bender delivers his 22nd pitch, and that's fouled straight back. That'll even the count up. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, freedom two, B Wolves nothing. That one's fouled off into the dugout along the first baseline. He'll get another pitch, two and two. There's a shot, and that's going to get into center field, and that's going to score two more runs. Oh, wow. <laughs> and Holy now cow. the, the Freedom are up four to nothing Gordon in the first Gordon. inning, and Gordon Fruitwell, the center fielder, comes in. He's neutral and fit. He's hitting 242 with a home run, four RBIs. Runner at first Holy base with two nice. outs. That one's lifted to Freddie Knox. He's going to pick that up, make the throw to first, and we're out of the top of the first. But the Freedom pick up four runs on five hits in the first inning. And Hanley Dexterra, Sturdy Woodman, Steve Monster are going to face off against Brooklyn Precious, who's bringing a 3.5 ERA to the bump. 
And they got some work to do, Tommy. What happened to the champs? Don't know. Hanley Dexter is tense. Oh. He is. <laughs> Hitting 333 on the season, six home runs, 13 RBIs. First pitch by Precious is a ball. Hanley's a little tense. So is the rest of the team. It's our hard liner on the ground straight to Lopez at shortstop. One pump third, first base, one up, one down. Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman, is locked in and fit. Hit 452 with five home runs, 20 RBIs. Nobody on with one out. Precious delivers, and it's a roller back to Precious. She's going to pick it up, make the throw to second. Two up, two down, and in steps Steve Monstor, the catcher. Boy, this is a horrible start for the Beagles. Steve Monster, the catcher, 354 on the season, seven home Dang. runs, oh, taking man. his first strike, 11 RBIs. Second pitch, almost the same spot. He doesn't chase one piece now. Top of the first. That one also misses outside. She's hoping he goes outside. She's come inside now. No. Oh, swinging a miss strike two, 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 and two. She makes an adjustment. Eighth pitch. He closes it in eighth. Hard line on the ground. Straight to Lopez at first. Three down with eight pitches. Yes, sir. We're going to head into the top of the second. Brooklyn Precious getting her first at bat. Then we're back to the top of the lineup. Becky Duran, one for one. Aliyah Buttes, one for one with a double. Hurley Bender, 25 pitches with a strikeout. Giving up five hits as ERA's jumped up to a 5.74. Brooklyn Precious, the starting pitcher, neutral and fit. 25 pitches in the first inning. In the first inning for Hurley Bender, who's now tense. Um, Brooklyn Precious, uh, not a good hitter. Hurley misses on that one. Outside 1 0 account. Spits up now. Beagles could come from behind. They've done it before. So, a veteran team, they're not going to let this get to them too much right now. That's a swing and a strike one. Even now, one apiece. Great pitch. Swing and a strike two. One and two. He'd like to get another K under his belt. Get some of that confidence back. Oh, that one just misses outside. Read a two apiece. Now, he's going to get a 30th pitch here. He's going to have to go five pitches to Brooklyn Precious, the pitcher. Swing and a strike three. All right. At least he puts away Brooklyn. She bumps the bat on her knee, and that's going to bring in Becky Duran. One for one with a single early in the game. A lot of speed. Good contact. Fair power. Early's at 30 pitches. There's 31. Check swing strike one. 0 1 count. Better start to the second inning than the first. I'll tell you that right now. Pop up on the infield. Ham Slam is going to run up and grab it. Two up, two down. And the Beagles threatening to get out of this without a run. Aliyah Butte's one for one with a double on the night. Only 188 on the season. Uh, good power hitter, though. Got good power against right-handers. So still got to be careful to her. Checks on that one. Ball one. One on the count. A little bit low. Top of the second four. Another freedom. Oh, come on. Ball oh. high. Now you got to split the difference there. 2-0. 35th oh. pitch. Oh. Right in there. Hard lot. That's a home run. Yep. Left. Wow, holy cow. That's number five. <laughs> uh, that is, uh, I don't even know who hit that one. Wow, that thing went 449 feet. It's Butte's third home run in ninth RBI of the season. And the uh, Freedom are running away with this thing in the second inning. Kelby King, 0 for 1, 218. And uh, she is a power hitter as well. And Hurley Bender yeah. throws number 36 to a check swing strike one. We almost got out of that inning, you know. Almost got out without nothing. 0-1, uh, foul back off the wall. 0-2, Hurley can drop her. Oh, she reaches inside and gets that one back. Still 0-2. Foul ball again. He's going to throw his 40th pitch here in the second inning. Strike three, tw 20 pitches an inning on average. Yuck. So we're heading into the bottom of the second. Freedom, five. <laughs> Beals, nothing. Hammerlong, Ballo, Bertha Banks, and Freddie Knox going to get a first look at Brooklyn Precious, who threw eight pitches in the first inning. Three areas at a 3.77 or a 3.17. Hammerlong, Ballo hit 347 with six home runs, 15 RBIs. He's neutral and fit. First pitch to Hammer. In there for a called strike. Strike one. Outside. outside ball one. One ball, one strike to Hammer Long Ballo, the B Wolf ball, right fielder. Outside. That's outside ball two. Two and one. That's oh, in there for really? called strike. Two balls, two strikes, off no outs. Plate. That's off the plate. Now it's a full count to Hammer Long Ballo. Three and two. Rips that one foul into the stands along the first base side. That one's popped up into right field. The right fielder's there calling everybody off. Get out. Kelby King makes the catch for the first out. One up, one down, and in steps Bertha Banks. 
Burbank three uh, locked in. Three ninety three on the season. Five home runs. Twelve RBIs. Fans cheered her on. Look we'll at the Beagles on there. One next. She goes outside. One on the catch. They can throw outside this one. Wow. Goes inside. Misses. Two and zero. Oh. 18th pitch. They got the pitch count up a little bit. 3 and 0. All right. Let her throw, man. Maybe she'll work herself out. Oh, she gets a strike. 97 miles an hour outside corner. 3 and 1 now. Hitters pitch. That was she comes with two straight strikes now. Full count. 3 and 2. Making her throw. Hard smash first baseline. Making her think twice about it. 22nd pitch. Ball for her. Great patience, Bertha. Way to get the pitch count up and then get on the base anywho. Yes, sir. So one on with a one out. And in steps Freddie Knox. He's neutral and fit. Hitting 288 with a home run, seven RBIs. Bertha Banks says about average speed on the base pass. Not enough to challenge this catcher. That's up. First pitch to Freddie Knox is high. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. There's a shot that's going to roll into center field for a clean single. And the B-Wolves got something going here. Runners at first and second with one out. And in steps Eduardo Keller. All right, Keller. Do something here. The B-Wolves. It would be great if they could turn things around. Yeah, runners at first and second with one out. Oh, not and that's that. an easy pop fly into I center field. Hit. Everyone's going to have to come back. Out. The infield fly rule, Butes catches it, two down. Ham slam is the shortstops, neutral and fit, hitting 472 with three home runs, nine RBIs. Runners at first and second with two outs. Uh, very reminiscent of the last game. The Beatles will start getting something going and they just could not get anybody across the plate. That one's a uh, high inside ball. Uh, count is one ball, one strike to Ham Slamis. There's a shot that's going to get into the corner, left field. And yeah. Bertha Banks is going to come around and score. And here comes Freddie Knox in the third base. And Ham Slamis will pull in the second with a double. So runners at second and third with two outs and insteps. Early Bender. Ham, way to go, Hammy. You know, I was thinking back to Edward Keller. I don't think he's ever not swung at a first pitch. Uh, first pitch in for a strike. Now, uh, Hurley not got contact here, but he's got enough power to take one out if it's right down the middle. There's a ball, or even not one apiece. Late swing on the ground. Precious dives, misses. Rodriguez picks it up, throws it to first, and gets the out. So we're going into the top of the third. Freedom, five runs on six hits. The B-Wolves, one run on two hits. Sky Rodriguez, one for one. Mercurial McClary, one for one. And Hayden Marsh, 0 for one. Bender at 40 pitches with three strikeouts, giving up six hits. Sky Rodriguez, the third baseman, is locked in and fits. He's one for one with a single and two RBIs so far today. Rodriguez with power versus left-handed pitching. Up oh, the single up the middle into center field. It to go right past him. He couldn't just reach out and grab that. First pitch, now one hit. Mercurio McClary, the first baseman, steps in. He's neutral and fit. He's one for one with a single. So one on with nobody out. A lot of speed at first base. There's a shot. The ham slam is oh, not going to be able to crap. get there. Two Man. pitches, two hits. <laughs> Bases now. First and second with no outs, and in steps Hayden Marsh, the catcher. He's neutral and well. He's 0 for 1 today. Two on, no outs. Just. That's an effort called strike, strike one. Bender tense. Yeah. Swing and a miss, strike one. Nice strike two. Marsh now in the hole, no balls, two strikes, no outs. Swing and a miss, strike three, down goes Hayden Marsh. So one out now with runners at first and second. And in steps shortstop Stanley Lopez. He's one for one with a single and two RBIs. Bender steps off the rubber and the runners are back. There's a shot to slam as he's going to second over to first. And they will get the double play just barely. <laughs> Stanley can hustle down that line. So b -Wolves get out of an inning without giving up a run. They're heading into the bottom of the third. It's Freedom 5, B-Wolves 1. Hanley Dexteris 0 for 1. Sturdy Woodman 0 for 1. And Steve Munster 0 for 1. Precious at 31 pitches, giving up a walk and two hits. Dexteris is tense but fit. He's a tough out utility player, but he's 0 for 1 today. No, it's popped no. up into right field. The right fielder <laughs> is calling everybody off, and Kelby King will make the catch for the first out. One out. And in steps Sturdy Woodman. I thought it was. I thought it looked like it was going to be a home run pitch, and then it kept fading upward. Sturdy could do it. Inside corner ball one. Good patience. One zero. The count. Thirty fourth pitch. Also, 101 miles an hour. Way to hang in there, Sturdy. 
There's one on the ground, past the mound on the ground into center field. That's going to be a clean single for the man who can always hit, Sturdy Wood Man. Yes, sir. So one on, one out. In step Steve Montstewer, the catcher. He's neutral and fit. He's 0 for 1 today. 0 for 1. Uh, Sturdy Woodman does not have a lot of speed at first base. First pitch to Montstewer is in there for a called strike. Strike one. That's in there for a called second strike. Montstewer now in the hole. No balls, two strikes, one out. No Allen's high ball one. One ball, two strikes. That's in there for called third strike. Down goes Monstour. You should and see where these things are landing. Hammer long ball, oh, neutral and fit. 0 oh for 1 today. One on with two outs. Oh. Fans cheer him on. He can get a three run home run and really make this interesting. This is for the first ball, one of the count. 40th pitch under her belt. Oh, instead he just kind of loops it. The left field caught by Duran for the third. Oh, man. Three outs. We're heading into the top of the fourth. Freedom four, B Wolves one. Gordon Fruitwell 0 for 1. Brooklyn Precious 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Becky Duran 1 for 2. Hurley Bender at 46 pitches with four strikeouts, giving up eight hits. His ERA is at a 5.67. Gordon Fruitwell. Gordon Fruitwell. Gordon Fruitwell 0 for 1. The center fielder for the Freedom. About the only guy on the team who hasn't hit yet. <laughs> Anticipated that split finger outside, but it misses. 1 0 account. Early Bender closing in on 50. Oh, come on. And he's having a hard time dialing in that strike zone. 2 0 to Gordon Fruitwell. Here he finally gets a foul ball, third base line, 2 and 1. 50th pitch coming up right here in the fourth inning. Foul ball, same spot, third base line, 2 and 2. Can he drop him? Now he pops it up in the left field, and Eduardo Keller's running over, waving it off. Making the grab for the first down. The rookie. And now it's going to bring the pitcher, Brooklyn Precious, over one of the day. Not much of a threat. You never know, though. Uh, the infield's going to go guard the lines, just in case. It's a late push on the right side. That one misses outside. One will count to Brooklyn wow. Precious. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Now we even up one apiece. Brooklyn Precious, for not being a good hitter, she looks like a good hitter. <laughs> that breaking pitch misses up high. Two of one. 55th pitch by Bender. Right in there, swing of a strike two. Chew and chew. Can he make it the second out? Can he do it, Pete? He does. Swing of a strike three is second strikeout for the Philadelphia pitcher who doesn't normally hit, but since they're in our building, so you can't really blame her. Becky Duran won for two with a single. The fast left fielder for the Philadelphia Freedom, who are ahead right now five to one in the top of the fourth. Early Bender looking to get out of this thing. Slider makes it back in for a strike. Over the count. Two outs. One strike. No balls. There's one on the ground to a diving Freddie Knox to his left. Whips it to his right. Or the, the other way around. <laughs> I think it's a third out. All right. So we're heading into the bottom of the fourth. It's still 5-1 to one freedom. Bertha Banks walked her first time up. Freddie Knox 1-1. for one. Eduardo Keller 0-1. for one. Brooklyn Precious at 41 pitches with a strikeout of Walker giving up three hits. Her ERA is at a 3.82. Bertha Banks locked in and fit. She walked her first time up. First pitch to Banks is inside. Ball one. Banks is locked in right now. That one's high ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Bertha Banks. Outside. Three straight balls from Brooklyn Precious to Bertha Banks. That crosses the plate for a called strike. Three and one. That one's high ball four. And... Bertha Banks will walk for the second time today. In steps Freddie Knox. He's one for one with a single. Gets the runner on. Freddie Knox uh, hitting well so far. He got uh, uh, Banks at first with no outs. People threatening. Breaking pitch makes it back in for a strike. 0 1 the count to Freddie Knox. Late swing fall off the wall. 0 oh, 2. He's in a hole. He's in a deep hole. Late swing in the center field. Freddie goes two for two. Hey, ready to go, Freddie. <laughs> yes, sir. So two on with no outs and in steps Eduardo Keller. Keller 0 for 1, hitting a paltry 188 this season in his rookie season. I think we just told him to just not swing at this first pitch. That's probably good advice. It's in there for called strike. He's never strike been here one. before. <laughs> now it's outside ball one. One ball, one strike to Eduardo Keller. That's oh, on the ground play. to the third baseman. That's over to... Oh, 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 oh. Double play. Now they're going to get three. It is the triple. 
Oh, have you ever seen a triple like that? <laughs> triple play. Oh. Going into the fifth, it's 5-1 freedom. Aliyah Buttes, two for two with a home run and a double. Kelby King, 0 for two with two strikeouts. Sky Rodriguez, two for two bender. Oh, oh, I've never seen a triple play before. Aliyah Buttes, locked in fit, power versus right-handed pitching. I don't know, she did some stuff. Two for two with a home run, I think. 200, she's hitting 200. That one's fouled off along the first baseline, strike one. Bender throwing his 60th pitch, swinging to miss, strike two. Aaliyah Buttes now in the hole, 0-2. Allen's fouled How straight back. That? Buttes will get another pitch. No balls, two strikes, no outs, nobody on. And it's rolled foul along the third baseline. She'll get another pitch. Swinging to miss, strike three, and down goes Aaliyah Buttes for the first time today. One out, nobody on. In steps Kelby King, the right fielder. She's locked in and fit, but she's 0 for 2 today. Been a big part of the defense so far for Freedom. There's a shot, but that's going to be foul along the third baseline. No balls, one strike, one out, nobody on. Top of the fifth. Freedom five, B Wolves one. That one's inside. That'll even an count, one and one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Kelby King now behind in the count, one and two. Allen's fouled straight back. King will get another pitch. Bender throwing his 68th pitch to Kelby King in the top of the fifth. Swing and miss, strike three. Down goes Kelby King. Two Ks this inning. So in comes Sky Rodriguez. She's on fire and fit. Two for two with two singles and two RBIs today. She does not have an opportunity for not, unless she hits a home run, obviously. But there's two outs and nobody on base in the top of the fifth. That one was outside ball one. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, one strike, two outs. Sky Rodriguez, the Freedom third baseman, takes that one for a ball, ball two. Two and one now. Hurley Bender up over 70 pitches. And the dirt, ball three. Three balls and one strike to Sky Rodriguez. A hitter's pitch coming up here. And she oh. takes it for ball four. And Sky Rodriguez will take a walk to first base. So with two outs and one on, Mercurial, Mercurial McClary comes in. He's locked in and fit. I'm not sure what he did. I missed it. Uh -oh. I was mispronouncing uh -oh. his name. There's a uh, shot that's going to get right in the left field. And Eduardo Keller will get it in. So runners now at first and second with two outs. And in steps Hayden Marsh, the catcher. He's locked in and well. He's 0 for 2. Struck out his last time up. So Bender may have his number. Bender at 74 pitches. Throws that first one across the plate for a called strike. Strike one. Bender now neutral. And if it worked his way back to neutral. And that's going to be, oh, and that's going to get past. The long ball is going to make the throw into home and not in time. It's going to be 6-1 to one now, Freedom. And Stanley Lopez, the shortstop, stop, steps in. He's locked in and fit. He's one for two with a single and two RBIs. Two on, two out. Bender tense again, throwing his 77th pitch for a called strike. Strike one. There's a roller. Right next. into the gaps. Oh, Max is going to get it, but he's nope. too fast. So it's not, not going to be in time. The throw will not be in time. Base is loaded now. Two outs. Gordon Fruitwell, the center fielder, locked in and fit. He's 0 for 2 today. Base is loaded. Two outs. Bender tense, throwing his 79th pitch. That's foul straight back, strike one. Gordon Fruitwell, the center fielder, the Freedom center fielder. Takes that one outside, ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Fruitwell hitting 229 with a home run. And that's going to get into. Oh, he's placed just perfectly. Oh. Yes, and it was out of the reach of the diving. Sturdy Woodman rolled into right field. Hammerlong Ballo threw it in. But another run scores, making it 7-1. to one. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Two outs. It's the top of the fifth. First pitch to Brooklyn. Precious is in there for a called strike. Strike one. Base is still loaded. That one's ripped foul along the first baseline. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Brooklyn Precious takes that one. Ball one. Bender at 84 pitches. Make it 85 right here. She fouls that one straight back. She'll get another pitch. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Ooh, she takes that pitch for a called third strike, and the Elm rings her up and rings her up, but good. 
We're heading into the bottom of the fifth. It is uh, Freedom 7, B Wolves 1, Ham Slamus 1 for 1 with a double, Hurley Bender 0 for 1, and Handley Dexterra 0 for 2. Precious at 52 pitches with a strikeout, two walks, and some hits. Ham Slamus neutral and fit 1 for 1 with a double and an RBI. He gets a liner to right field, one pitch, one out. <laughs> Hurley Bender tenths but fit 0 for 1 today, hitting 214 on the season. One out, nobody on in the bottom of the fifth. That one's popped up, straight back out of play. Strike one. That one's high ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. That one's fouled off. One ball, two strikes. There's a roller to the shortstop, Lopez. He'll pick it up, double pump, make the throw to first and get. Hurley Bender for the second out. Two up, two down, and Hanley Dexterra steps in. He's tenth. They all are. Fans cheered him on, though. Turn things around. First one's in it for a strike, going with the count. Second one's in there for a strike. Oh, to follow back up the wall, oh, and two. He's a tough out. 60th pitch, just misses high, ball one, one and two the count, Hurley Bender, that's into the loss, and that's a line drive home run, no, caught by Duran, <laughs> and left field, ha <laughs> Yes sir, so we're going into the top of the sixth, Freedom, seven runs on 12 hits, B-Wolves one run on four hits, Becky Duran one for three, Aaliyah Buttes two for three with a home run, a double and a strikeout, Kelby King 0 for three with three now strikeouts, the left fielder. Becky Number Duran 76. locked in and fit. Over through the single. Why is it to I feel like I see her every freaking time I pitch? Because <laughs> they're going through this lineup like a it's like a carousel. Throw to slam it's a shortstop one pump throw for there's a good pace. One pitch, one out. Aaliyah Buttes now, she's locked in two for three, the home run, a double and an RBI. Power against these right handers. She cranked one early. That one misses inside. Ball one, one on the count. To Aliyah Buttes, the second base woman for the Philadelphia Freedom. Swing and a strike one at that outside slider. One on the go, one out. Hard lighter. Oh, of course. Tough dive. Hammond cannot pick it up, but he will stop it and then go throw it to Freddie Knox, giving Buttes the single. That's Kelby King's turn. 0 for 3. Um, so, you know, Bender's got her number. Don't have a real fast, but got an average speed mode at first base. Bender losing velocity and accuracy now. He's in it for a strike. He's still got his junk, though. The 90-second pitch coming up. Hoping to get out of this inning would be nice. Anticipated that's in the right field. Hammerlong ball is going to throw it back. Go back to first base. She comes back, though. We got two outs. We got one more left feet. Let's round this up. But a Sky Rodriguez, two for two, two singles, a walk, two RBIs. Sky Rodriguez, 35th. Her third base woman, she's on fire. That one misses inside, one on the count. Breaking right. pitch, swing and miss, strike one, even at one piece. Charlie Benner's losing a lot of stuff. He's got a 95th pitch coming up here. That one misses inside. Ball 2-2-1 two, two, to Sky Rodriguez. Oh, there's a little foul ball through baseline. And it is a souvenir, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Swing and miss, strike three. He ends it with a K. Way to go, Hurley. Yes, sir. So we're going to head into the bottom of the sixth. It's still Freedom 7, B Wolves 1, Sturdy Woodman 1 for 2, Steve Monster 0 for 2 with a strikeout, Hammer Long Ballo 0 for 2, Brooklyn Precious 61 pitches with a strikeout, 2 walks, and giving up 4 hits. Her ERA is down to 3.58. Sturdy Woodman locked in and fitted 1 for 2 with a single. Come on, guys. we got to get some offense going here. 7 to 1 in the bottom of the sixth. We're running out of time. First pitch to Woodman's outside, ball 1. That's over the plate for a called strike. One ball, one strike now to Woodman. That one's low ball two. Two balls and a strike. That one's fouled straight back. Two balls, two strikes, no outs to Sturdy Woodman. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Sturdy Woodman. He's Steve Monstuer, the catcher's neutral and fit. 0 for 2 today. Well, she's bringing the heat still. Late game. 67th pitch. Ball one, 94 miles an hour. One on the count, Steve Monster. Ball two, two and a, he's just not gonna swing. She's on fire now, Brooklyn Prices. Ball three, but she won't throw to Steve Monster. 70th pitch, right in there. Strike that was, one. A, that was a home run. Yeah, and the inside strike two, almost 100 miles an hour, full count. And he walks, way to go, way to hang in there, Stevie Monster. That was a, that was a home run right there, <laughs> that first strike. 
Hammer long ball on neutral. If it 0 for 2, it literally lit up the middle of that. <laughs> I'm just yeah. let it go. I'm trying to get her to pitch herself out. Oh, yeah, yeah. First pitch to long ball is fouled off. Strike one. Oh. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Steve Von Stewart does not have a lot of speed at first base. Strike oh, come three. On. Down goes she Hammer Long Ball. All three, right down the middle. Two outs, runner at first base, in steps Bertha Banks. I didn't want to swing. It's like I don't want to swing at everything, but she's just right in there with the strikes. Fans cheering around. They want a two run home run. There it is. Oh, it's a lighter streak to beauty. Jeez, come on. Not even a pump throw. Three up, two down. Or no, not three up, three down. Yep, we're going into the top of the seventh. Still seven to one. Freedom. Mercurio McClary, three for three. Hayden Marsh, one for three with a strikeout. Stanley Lopez, two for three. Bender at 97 pitches with nine strikeouts, giving up a walk and 13 now hits. Mercurio McClary is on fire and fit. Three for three with three singles. Jeez. Bender struggling right now in the top of the seventh. It looks like he's going to end his day. This is a, a bad outing. It's his second in three games. He had a bad yeah. outing. He looked... Uh, uh, unstoppable in the second and now he's back to looking poor and in comes uh case barajas the hot and cold case process he's a b minus relief pitcher he's got a 3.68 era a 1.36 whip 12, 18 strikeouts he's neutral and fit he's got uh, good velocity but poor junk and less than uh, average accuracy he's almost fully rested he's got a four seam fastball a slider and a changeup. so case barajas taking over duties in the top of the seventh for uh Hurley Bender. Oops. First pitch to Mercurio McClary is high. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Allen's fouled straight back. That'll even the count at one ball, one strike. McClary, the first baseman for the Freedom. He rips that one foul, and now he finds himself behind in the count. One and two. There's a shot. That's going to be foul on the First base side, one ball, two strikes. And there's a foul on the third base side. One ball, two <laughs> strikes. Again, they're making the pitchers just throw pitches. Swing and a miss, strike three down goes Mercurio McClary for the first time today. One out, in steps Hayden Marsh, the catcher. He's locked in and well, one for three with a single and an RBI. He struck out, I think, his other two times. But hey, you know, he looks at the bright side. First pitch is in there for called strike, strike one. The guy, the only guy I know can strike out twice and get one hit and be locked in. <laughs> that yeah, yeah. That one's inside ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. There's a smash. That's going into He can get it. He can get it. He can get it. Jump. Oh. oh. And it's a deep fly ball to center field, uh, to right center. And uh, Hammerlong Paulo dove to try and get it, but he was just out of reach. And uh, It's good effort. Yeah. So a double, a double for uh, the catcher who's now locked in. One out with a runner at second. That one's ripped foul. But man, what a ride that one had. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I know, he should have. Barajas at 10 pitches already, so sort of swing and a miss, strike two. Stanley Lopez, the shortstop, is in the batter's box. He's in the hole, no balls, two strikes. That one's pounded into center field and hand it oh. oh, I misread it. Oh boy. I misread it. And it's a triple. Wow. <laughs> so another run scores. It's eight to one. Wow. Gordon Fruwell, the center fielder, stepping in. Jeez. I want my wah 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 button. Wah, yeah. wah, wah. <laughs> Twelve pitches and now Barajas getting raked over the coals. <laughs> As he does. No balls, one strike, one out. That's in there for a called second strike. No balls, two strikes. Allen's fouled straight back. Burn at third base with one out. Gordon Fruitwell, the center fielder, is in the batter's box. He fouls that one off. No balls, miss. two strikes. One out. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Down goes Gordon Fruitwell. So now we got two outs and in steps. Brooklyn Precious. She's on fire and fit. Wool for three today. They think she's on fire for her pitching. <laughs> Not for her hitting. She's 0 for 3 today. No. There is a runner at know. third. Yeah, there's a runner at third base. That's strike one to Brooklyn Precious. That one's fouled straight back, and now Precious is in the hole 0 and 2. Barajas throwing his 20th pitch for a called third strike, and she's gone. So three Ks in the top of the seventh, although he did give up a run. 
So we're heading into the bottom of the seventh. Freddie Knox, two for two. Eduardo Keller, 0 for two. And Ham Slamis, one for two with a double. Precious at 76 pitches with three strikeouts, three walks, and giving up four hits. Her EIRA just dropped to 3.48. Freddie Knox neutral and fit two for two with two singles today. Hitting 309 on the season with a home run, seven RBIs. There's a shot, a roller to Lopez at short. He's going to pick it up, make the throw to McClary at first to retire Freddie Knox. One up, one down, and in steps Eduardo Keller. That was right down the pipe. He had to go for it. Keller fans cheering him on. They like the rookie. First pitch. This is low for ball. 99 miles an hour, I think. Late swing back to mound. Precious. Three pitches, two outs. Wow, you suck, Keller. <laughs> Ham Slamis neutral and fit. One for two with a double and an RBI. Eight to one, the bottom of the seventh, and the B Wolves just look terrible. That one's outside ball one. That's over the corner of the plate for a called strike one and one. That one's popped up straight back out of play. One and two. That's ball third strike. Down goes Ham Slamis. We're going to the top of the eighth. It's Freedom eight, B Wolves one, Becky Duran one for four, Aliyah Butes three for four, a home run, a double, and a strikeout. Kelby King 0 for four with three strikeouts. Brajas at 20 pitches with three strikeouts, giving up two hits. Number 76. Becky Durant, one for four on the single. Beeble's got two runs in that last game. They got one in this one. Three runs in two games. Just awful, awful offense. And the defense giving up so much today. That one fouled off 0-1 the count. Well, this Garuda guy is playing every game in his library. <laughs> 22nd pitch. Check swing up high. This is one apiece now to Becky Duran. Duran ran ran. She's locked in. She's basically guaranteed a base right here. One and two to the locked in Duran. 24th pitch. Swing and a miss strike three. Boy, Barajas got these all K's except for those outfield singles. Or triples or whatever they were last. Last thing. Aaliyah Butte's now three for four with a whole bunch of stuff. Power against righties. This will be Barajas' uh, Mount Everest. Hard one on the ground to Bertha Banks. That's going to be an easy out. One pump throw to the first. Two down, way to go. The right Gave her something hit, she couldn't hit it well. Kelby King 0 for 4. Good power, uh, good fair contact. Case Brahas wants to drop her quick. We like to throw one more inning after this if he can. Fouled back off the net. Oh, on the count. Trying to get her to hit one on the ground. But they can uh, twice sort of first. Oh, slider misses down low. We're stuck. What a piece. Here's the rubber, the rubber pitch. Fall back off the wall. He's got her right where he wants her right now. One and two. He's a dropper in under 30 pitches. Here he comes. Two to strike three. Way to go, Barajas. Yes, sir. So we're going into the bottom of the eighth. It is B, uh, Freedom 8, B-Wolves 1. Case Barajas is first at bat. Hanley Dexter is 0 for 3. Sturdy Woodman 1 for 3 with a strikeout. Precious at 83 pitches with 4 strikeouts, giving up 3 walks and 4 hits. Case Barajas locked in and fit, hitting 333 on the season. I'm not letting him hit, right? Oh, okay. Do I let him Do I let him hit? I mean, well, I thought, he, I thought he wanted to pitch one more inning, but um, I guess... I mean, we I, really don't. Uh, we don't have anybody yeah. to pinch. Okay. Oh, okay. He's, he's not the worst hitter. He's better than a hey, line. Look at you. See, I had confidence the whole way. <gasps> Almost threw him out. <laughs> it's in the right field, and he made it to first, but barely. She was playing shallow. Yeah, Hanley Dexter is tense, but Fitty's 0 for 3. Case Barajas has some speed over at first base. First pitch to Hanley Dexter is high. Ball one. That's in there for called strike. Strike one. Case Baraja, uh oh. Hanley Dexteris pops it up in the sh uh, foul side of third base. Strike one. Uh, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> Strike one. <laughs> Sturdy Woodman neutral and fit one for three with a single. Got a fast runner at first base. No, Pete, why? A little looper to first. They're going to toss him out, but the he advances Barajas. The catcher. Doesn't matter, there's two outs. Steve Monstour, neutral and fit. Power versus right-handed pitching. Steve Monstour, two outs. Brahas, there you go, yes. there's a run. That's gonna get into center field. Brahas is coming around from third, and he's gonna score, making it eight to two. 
We got a whole new ball game, folks. Right. Don't, leave, don't leave them seats yet. Hammerlong ball out tense, but fit 0 for 3 today. He can make it 8 for 5. And it goes Brooklyn Flashes. Here we get Dainty Maynard, the right, uh, the relief pitcher. A-ranked. A uh, number 20 throws it. He's got great junk. Real good velocity. Good accuracy. He's well rested. He's ball prone if he's down the count. He throws a four-finger and mixes it up the slider to change the pressure up. Um, Hammer can uh, get us within four. Inside. This is inside with his first pitch, ball one, one on the count. Two outs. Oh, 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 oh that oh, was oh. right in there, but he was about an A early. Foul ball, two and one apiece. Nope. There's a hard Dang, liner straight it. to Lopez and short. Nope. There, you're done. Dang, damn it. Hammer, hammer, hammer. We're going into the top of the ninth. It's eight to two. Freedom, uh, Freedom eight runs on 15 hits. B Wolves, two runs on six hits. Sky Rodriguez, two for three with a walk and a strikeout. Mercurio McClary, three for four with a strikeout. Hayden Marsh, three for two for four with a double and a strikeout. Sky Rodriguez logged in, locked in and fit two for three with two singles, a walk, and two RBIs. Case Barajas throwing his 30th pitch. He's locked in and fit. There's a shot, and that's going to get into center field. Of course. For a single, and that's going all the way to the wall. It's going to be a double. I see that, you know, they get these hits, but it's always to an empty gap. Yeah. They never hit it to someone. Mercurio McCleary locked in and fit three for four with three singles. Runner at second with no outs. Is there a slaughter rule? Yeah. <laughs> First pitch to McCleary is in there for called strike. Strike one. Ball high. Allen's high ball one. One ball, one strike, no outs. Runner at second base with speed. There's a shot to Freddie Knox. He's going to pick it up, make the throw to first for the first out. But the runner is able to advance to third. So with one out and a runner at third, Hayden Marsh comes in. He's locked in and fit two for four with a double and a single. So with one out and a runner at third base, Hayden Marsh, the catcher, steps in. Takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. That one's popped up foul. Out of play. And very quickly, Hayden Marsh in the hole. No balls, two strikes, one out. That one's inside ball one. One ball, two strikes, and one out. Hayden Marsh, the catcher. He's going to lift. Oh, that's going to drop oh, in front yeah. of Hanley Dexter. They're going the <laughs> to get the run. Uh, Making it 9 to 2. And uh, yeah, Case Barajas tumbles. Stanley Lopez is shortstop three for four, a triple, two singles. I just I couldn't even read the line on him. He just said so much. The pitch, the pitch yeah, was so far shot. inside, it jammed him, and he oh, won't get it. Oh, he won't yeah. get it. Why didn't he get it? Why didn't he get it, Tom? Why? Why didn't he get it? Why start now, right? I hit, I hit the button. Why didn't he get it? Gordon <laughs> Fruitwell. Fruitwell locked in fit one for four single on RBI. This is just the the wheels have fallen off here. It's the top yeah. of the ninth. It's nine to two. There's a roller and oh. Oh, and he runs away from it. He going to get the run. <laughs> oh, I thought I had the catcher. Uh, so I'm pushing forward for the catcher to pick the ball up, <laughs> which of course makes Case Barajas turn around and run away from it. Oh boy, this is ridiculous. Wait, wait. Ten to two. Yeah, pause it. Okay, the Phil the Freedom are winning ten to two. There's uh, two on with one out. Ball one, no strikes. Uh, this is a joke. This is the worst game I think we've played in a long time. That's a bunt foul down the third baseline. The infield is at double play depth. Uh, right trigger. That's a bunt foul. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Case Barajas now starting to struggle. Dainty Maynard, the pitcher, is in. He bunts that foul, so he gives us an out, which is nice. So now runners at first and third with two outs. Becky Duran, the left fielder, one for five with a single. Barajas is really just limping yeah. in now. Yep. Now, pitching. Macy York is Number coming in. She's tense, but <laughs> this is just. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. She's got a 4.15 ERA, a 2.54 whip, six strikeouts. She's tense, but fit. Uh, she's got uh, less than average velocity, uh, less than average junk and accuracy. She's almost fully rested. She's got a four seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. First pitch to Duran is high ball one. One ball, no strikes. Becky Duran, the freedom left fielder. That's going to be 
two. Freddie Knox, he'll pick it up, make the throw to first for the third out. And what a mess. Uh, we're going into the bottom of the ninth. Freedom, 10 runs on 19 hits. B Wolves, two runs on six hits. Bertha Banks, 0 for 1 with two walks. Freddie Knox, 2 for 3. And Eduardo Keller, 0 for 3. Danny Maynard at three pitches with a ERA of 1.69. Bertha Banks locked in and fit. 0 for 1 with two walks today. All right, so they're going to start making some defensive substitutions. And Mercurio McClary, the first baseman, will take a seat. They're going to bring in Flash Lethar. Flash Lethar hitting 236 with no errors and no home runs. He's tense but fit. He's got about average speed, but he's got uh, good fielding and a good arm. He's also known as a utility player. They're also going to take out uh, the third baseman, Sky Rodriguez, and they're going to bring in Emilio Adoya. Emilio Adoya has one error. He's hitting 257 with one home run. He's neutral and fit. He's got good speed and better than average fielding and a better than average arm, and he's a utility player as well. So at first base, Flash Ladar, third base, Eddie Adoya. First pitch to Bertha Banks is low, ball one. That's a rounder to uh, Flash Ladar. He's going to pick it up, flip it to Dainty Maynard for the first out. One up, one down. And in steps Freddie Knox. He's two for three with two singles. Frederick Knox, you having a good night. <laughs> it's 10 to 2 Damn. loss there. The breaking pitch makes back in for a strike on one of the count. Breaking pitch is high, ball one. Good patience. One apiece now. Ready not. Nope. That one's yep. right in there. That's going to be an easy pop up. Right. Center field. Freaking there. And that's all we can do Wave. is pop it up. Wave it up. Gordon Fruitwell makes the second catch. So I need one more to close down this, this just horror show. Eduardo Keller, tense but fit. <laughs> He's 0 for the day because he stinks. Low. <laughs> that one's low, ball one. One ball, no strikes. That's in there for a called strike. One ball, one strike, two outs, nobody on. A roller to, oh, and the pitcher missed it. And so <laughs> Eddie Kettler is going to get a single the cheap way. Ham slam is neutral and fit one for three with a double and an RBI. Come on, Ham, hit a home run. That'd be nice. Fast runner, first base. Nope. Uh, oh, it's in the gap. But, oh, no. Second baseman Buse makes it over, makes the throw, and closes it up. Yep. <laughs> oh, what a way to end it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, it's right there, wow. but, you know, that doesn't would, go anywhere. <laughs> that was a throttling. Oh, the Beagles never had a chance. Nope. Lost it in the first inning. Yeah, they got. They just came right out, and the, the, the Philadelphia Freedom looked like the best team that's ever taken the field. They just put the throttle down and they never let up and the Beebles just cried their way back into the, the dugout. Oh, I can't wait to forget this game. The, uh, yeah, the Freedom get four in the first. They tack on another in the second for good measure. The Beebles get one, like, as if they were going to do something. Then it goes quiet. Crickets till the fifth inning. Freedom get two more. No response by the Beebles. They had one in the seventh. Nothing for the Beebles. They ate the Beebles. Say they get one more. And then Freedom uh, remind them whose boss put two more out of the ninth. Uh, they get 10 runs on 19 hits. The Beagles, two on seven. <laughs> uh, Duran comes in, goes one for six, scores a run, gets a strikeout. Uh, Buttes goes three for five with two runs, a home run, an RBI, and a strikeout. Kelly King goes 0 for five with four strikeouts. That was That was the disappointing... Uh, link in the chain there for the freedom. Sky Rodriguez, though, three for four, three runs, two RBIs, one walk, one strikeout. Idoya comes in late, doesn't hit. Uh, McClary goes three for five with two runs, gets a strikeout. Flash Lazar comes in, doesn't hit. Uh, Marsh comes in, goes three for five, two runs, two RBIs, one strikeout. Lopez, four for five. I mean, look at all these great nights. Four for five for Lopez with three RBIs. Fruitwell, two for five with two RBIs and a strikeout. Um, Marsh has strikeouts on Brooklyn Precious, 0 for 4 four Ks. Not expecting much from her anyway. Dainty Bader subs in, goes 0 for 1. Yeah, for the B Wolves, you got uh, Hanley Dexteris. He goes 0 for the night, and it's his two games in a row now here. He hasn't even gotten a hit. Sturdy Woodman was 1 for 4 with a strikeout. Uh, Steve Montstewer goes 1 for 3 with an RBI, a walk, and a strikeout. Hammerlong Ballo 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Bertha Banks goes 0 for 2, scored a run, walked twice. Uh, Freddie Knox goes 2 for 4. Eduardo Keller goes 1 for 4. Ham Slamis 1 for 4 with an RBI and a strikeout. 
Uh, Hurley Bender goes 0 for 2. Case Barajas was 1 for 1 and scored a run. Macy York did not have an official at bat. Pitching, Brooklyn Press just comes in, gets the win, earns it. 7.2 innings, gives up only six hits, two earned runs, three walks, four strikeouts. Her ERA drops to a 3.57. She's now evened up, like she's like we said before the game, she's two and two on the season. Dainty Mater comes in, throws an inning of the third, gives up just one hit, nothing else. His ERA drops to a 1.61. He's 0-0-1 on the season. Uh, and Hurley Bender gets saddled with the loss, as he should, because he just was horrible. He p- p- pitched six innings. Basically, because they didn't want to take him out that early. (laughs) Yeah. Six innings. He gives up 13 hits, seven earned runs, uh, four of which came in the first inning. He walked one, struck out nine. He did give up a home run. His ERA jumps up to a 5.7, and his his record will even out at one win and one loss. Case Barajas came in, pitched two and two-third innings, gave up six hits, three earned runs, and he struck out six. His ERA jumps up jumps up to a 4.67. His record will remain one win, one loss, one save. Macy York pitched a third of an inning. She didn't give up anything. Her ERA uh, stays at a 3.86, and her record will remain no wins, one loss, and three saves. Three stars of the game. First star, the B-ranked Stanley Lopez, the shortstop. He's four for five. He had a triple, a double, three RBIs. If he had hit a home run and a and a single, he would have had the he would have hit for the cycle. I've never seen yeah. anybody hit the cycle in in uh, in Super Mega yet. So I'm kind of I'm hoping yeah. to do it. I'd rather not see it done against yeah. us. <laughs> but it, like like the triple play we just saw today. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, second star of the game. There's a theme here. It's a B ranked uh, third baseman number 15, Sky Rodriguez. She goes three for four, gets a double, two RBIs, and scores three runs. And then uh, rounding out the three stars to B-plus, Aaliyah Buttes, the shortstop. Uh, she went three for five. She hit a home run. She had uh, a double. She had an I- RBI. She scored two runs, so she did it everywhere. The um, gamer stats, Tommy G gets four hits, two RBIs, one great catch, nine strikeouts. Pete J had three hits. One great catch and six strikeouts. How how do you figure that? Fifty two percent to your forty eight percent. Uh, you got more great catches. No, you didn't. No. Oh. You you. That doesn't make any sense. No. Oh. I think they juxtaposed it. I think I was supposed to have forty eight, and you were supposed to have fifty two. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I mean, just, you just look at the stats. I mean, I, you know, you had a lot more stats. You had nine strikeouts. You yeah. had one more hit than me, right? I think we you had four, I had three. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, wow, that's the ugliest game you could ever, ever want to see. And yeah. going into Hawaii and having to play the Nemesis, I think we're two and a half games back now. We're starting to fall in the standings, and now you start talking yeah. about whether, you know, yeah. We're going to have to play for a spot. We're going to have to start, you, you know, you start talking about, as we come into the second half of the season, wild card. We, now we got to yeah. start talking wild card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, was our fourth streak loss? Yeah, we're on a four-game yeah. losing streak. Yeah. Uh, well, after this game, a little bit of new news. Um, uh, Baca Harris, offended water bolts coach, was played by Gustav Wow, Baca Harris played there for, I think, ever. Um He's gone now. Baca was the uh, 35-year-old right field left fielder, was making $7.3 million a year. He must have said something really bad. Uh, Gustav Gustafsson, um, I forget where he played. I want to say San Jose uh, Moons, or the San Diego Moonstars. Anyway, he's he's uh, known mostly for his power. They had a lot of power with that. That's it. That's all they have. 31-year-old left fielder, outfielder. He's going to make $3.7 million a year to be a bullet. Uh, Perella Avalos offended a Sandcast coach and was replaced by Eddie Foundwood. So Avalos was a 40-year-old relief pitcher, C-ranked. Um, he was walk-prone, and they're going to bring in a 31-year-old relief pitcher who's B minus. Um, they're going to lose a little something on velocity, but they pick up some uh, some stuff in the junk and the accuracy. Uh, he's also not as good a hitter as Avalos. Um, and he's going to be making a little bit more money. Uh, they were paying Avalos 2.4 mil, and they're going to be paying uh, Foundwood 3.1 to finish out the season here in Phoenix. Welcome to Phoenix, Mr. Foundwood. Buster Biggs feels stiffer than usual. 
So his uh, fielding goes down four from 47 to 43. Oh, that's Bund- good. Bund- Bundabar. Yeah, our schedule, the next game is the halfway mark. We're going to go to Hawaii. We're going to play one in Shaka Sports Turf, and then the season's halfway over. Then we're going to play a second one. So it's going to be Ortiz versus Williams, and then Japani versus Mabets. Now, the the flip side to this is, uh, you know, we, we have a... We have an opportunity to take something back here. We're two games back. If we win these, you know, we beat the nemesis. That's exactly the kind of pressure we want to put on. So we got to go in there thinking we're going to win, man. We're 14 and 7. We'd be first place in the Uncharted and in the Journey and in the Seafarer. Yeah. And in the Curiosity. We'd be first place everywhere but the Trade Division and the Pathfinder Division. Yeah, but a scant four four games ago, we were 14 and 3. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. We've more than doubled our losses in, in the, uh, you know. Well, you look, yeah, I mean, we got, you know, the problem with those four games, we gave up seven runs, eight runs, three runs, ten runs. So, ah. it's, yeah, it scored two, four, two, two. We just, we got to, we got to, we need to, we need to turn things around, turn things around quite a bit. Yeah, and then after that, after that first game, we're going to do the halfway Live from the Hive, we're going to talk about, you know, see if the Beatles need to make any changes at the halfway mark, if they're going to drop anyone, pick anyone up. Uh, and then even more importantly, we're going to take a close look at the changes to the league next season. There's a lot of changes going from Super Mega 3 to Super Mega 4. So that's going to be, that's going to be like drinking from the fire hose. And it's going to be, it's going to be a lot to, to sort of wrangle. So Pete and I are going to get together, I think this Saturday, right? And we're going to... Uh, just go take a look and see what's what's going on so we can report back to you guys how this is all going to tie in next season. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, thanks for thanks for watching us. Uh, happy yeah. Hampton, whatever you call yourself now. And, and uh, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, about, you're our biggest fan. You get a couple a couple likes every every time we play. Thanks for stopping to watch us. But uh, sorry you had to watch these last four beatdowns. It shows you we're not... We're not just, you know, beating a game. We're, right. We're playing competitive ball here. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's what me and Tommy have always said. We want it to be competitive. We don't want to win every game. We don't want it to be a foregone conclusion. We want the games to have a little bit of mystery to them. And, and when you do that, you kind of, you, you know, you're open to uh, losing this badly. <laughs> at that yeah. time. And that's the thing is when it starts, when the, when the, when the wheels come off the tracks, it affects everything. I know I get I get lost yeah. in, in the commentary. I don't know what, where we're at. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so yeah. it was just yeah, a bad, yeah. this was a bad game. It was just a bad yeah. game. <laughs> well, it, it'll be curious to see if, if, if not just the, the B-Wolves. I think, I think everybody knows that this is our last season with the B-Wolves. So, um, uh, but it's been a curious thing. I don't know if it's been Super Mega 3 or the B-Wolves, but it tends to be really streaky. You know, we we go on a crazy win streaks, and then we lose everything. And then right. you know, it, it doesn't seem to be a middle ground of we win three or four and lose one or two, and we we'll win ten, right. and then we will lose five. Yeah, <laughs> and that's but, like you said, it gets very streaky, and that's the thing that really kind of just grinds my gears. It's like I was hitting fine, and now I can't hit anything. Even yeah. when I have it lined up, it's just a weak pop up or a ground ball on the in, uh, uh, in the infield. You're like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. how, how does it go? For, you know. But again, we've talked about that too. It happens. It happens sometimes. You get streaky in in baseball. You know. Yeah. You get on a hot streak and you see the ball like it's a like it's a beach ball, and sometimes you can't find it to save your life. You know. So. Yeah. But that's All the right. part that aggravates me. Is I'm I'm in that mode right now where it's like. I'm not, I, even when I hit, I get a good hit, it just kind of hangs up. And yeah, the outf- like, outfielder can get underneath it. You're like, come on, I can't get anything going. Well, today for me, I was pitching. We're just like, I yeah. got this feeling I cannot get a ball past these guys. The only way to get a ball past them is to throw it out of the strike zone and they won't swing. Right, and then so you wind like, up walking gonna, them. Yeah, they're yeah. going to hit it somehow. I'm trying to get them to hit it not good, but every single time they put it just right. right between two players into a gap out against the wall, it's like how they it's like they're trying to place it. Right. <laughs> and they're going to really bender. He's one of the best in the game, but uh, you know, anyway. Okay, well, 
It's just, thank you for letting us whine now. Let's yeah. close this up. <laughs> this is pathetic. Anyway, yeah. all right. We will see you on the road in Hawaii. Bring your golf clubs. We'll talk Super Mega 4. Hopefully we can get two back in the nemesis. Until then, this is Tommy G. And it's BJ, and we're saying, get out of here.